So this is before repasting. We've got uh, 34 degrees in the CPU. I'm going to start prime. Check the temperature. When I click OK, I see that the temperature jumps immediately to 45, then to 53, where it starts going up, but in a slower way. I don't know why, but the cooler, uh, the cooler runs at the lowest speed till it reaches something like 80 degrees. The smart fan is disabled, but it's like the cooler is having a sensor in it. So when it detects something like 80 degrees, it will start uh, going up in RPMs. This is after running Prime for five minutes. We are having the CPU at 84 degrees. The CPU cooler went to 3,700 RPMs, more or less. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is to stop Prime and try repasting with an RTX MX4. This is my PC. Uh, this is my Xenon 2, 945, 3.0 GHz. I'm gonna take the heatsink off. Now it has got a, it has got a Chinese thermal compound, the same that I got in my GeForce GT 220. This is my powerful graphic card. I mean, it is a shitty graphic card, but I still love her because I can play GTA 4, Battlefield 3. So obviously I need to do some overclock, but it it runs quite well. So we're gonna take the heatsink off. You can see the little GPU chip. GT226 and 16. We're gonna clean everything with some alcohol to take out the Chinese thermal compound. By the way, the motherboard is a Gigabyte GA, as you can see there, 880 GM UD2H. It is a quite good motherboard. It accepts some overclock, it has good PCB. For my personal use, it works quite well. So after cleaning everything, I will lose this Arctic MX4. I could get this thanks to Gideon's friend. I will put just the that's too much, but it will work. I'm gonna put the heat in now. Open 
this is going to be the best way for putting this. putting everything in its place it is working again we got 34 36 degrees the CPU so we are gonna just click find and see what happens with the temperature we got an infinite jump to 51 degrees which is not very good we are in 57 we're gonna see what happens in five minutes if we are below or more than 84 degrees we are running for five minutes we see the CPU temperature in eight degrees and the cooler is in 3400 rpms not in 36 37 as it was today so we see a, an improvement remember what, that we are running with stock coolers aluminium coolers uh, we don't have even a um, copper core so they are crappy heat sinks i think that it is a good result for only a thermal compound what i don't like is the jump that i got from 37 to 51 degrees in just two seconds but perhaps that improves with the time with some I don't know like uh, uh, thermal compound break-in the MX4 is supposed to don't need it but perhaps it improves with the time 